And then you touch upon vapor pressure several times so far. And that's another thing that I feel like a lot of my viewers are going to hear VPD and they're going to be like, wait a minute, the plant's not growing anymore. Correct. Like VPD doesn't, doesn't really matter, right? That's it's correct. like, uh, you know, you're using VPD while the plant is growing, it, it controls the stomata opening. Now, when the plant is drying, there's no real stomata for it to open. It doesn't really affect, affect in that avenue. No, you're right. VPD applies to a living plant. Why? Because the plant is actively putting water out through the stomata. And you're going to that, if you know what your leaf surface temperature is, you can calculate the saturated vapor pressure of the leaf. And now you have a vapor pressure at the leaf. And then you want to set up the vapor pressure in the room. And you want to set up a difference between the two so that the water leaving the leaf can freely flow into the room and not hang out underneath the leaf where you're going to get microbial growth, mold, things like that. So you are basically maintaining a vapor pressure difference between the leaf and the room. And almost think about a pump maintains a pressure difference between in and out. You're sort of creating this difference so there's this constant flow of the water vapor from the leaf into the room and you don't want it to fluctuate. You want a constant flow. Now, let's take that leaf, the, uh, that the leaf, the flower that you just cut off. It's dead now. It's got a finite amount of water. There's no more roots connected to it to bring up water. So it's, it's got an absolute amount of water it's starting with. And so it has a vapor pressure. And now you're going to put it in a space like a cool cure which has a lower vapor pressure and the vapor pressure is set based on the 54 degree dew point and that flower has a higher vapor pressure, there's a difference. But we're not going to talk about vapor pressure deficit. What's going to happen is that flower is just going to start losing water because it's at a higher vapor pressure. But it's now going to consistently go lower and lower and lower until it comes to equilibrium with the space. You've dried it. So vapor pressure deficit is a proper term for a flower room, live plants, water constantly coming out. Would you talk about vapor pressure deficit when you take a knife and put it through the sidewall of a tire? Well, there's a vapor pressure difference when the tire is full. And then after you pull the knife out when the tire is flat, they've now equalized. The vapor pressure in the tire is the same as outside the tire. It's a flat tire. That's at equilibrium. And when you, before you cut the hole in the tire, there was a difference. But you really don't talk about that. It's just that the tire's at 30 PSI, <laughs> and now the tire's at zero. Uh, same thing with the flower. The flower had a high vapor pressure, and now it's dry. It's at equilibrium to the space. So is there an ideal vapor pressure for drying or is curing storage? Yes. The 54 degree dew point. Got it. If you know 54 degree dew point, you can calculate vapor pressure. It's a linear, it's, it's a one for one. There's a straight equation. You put in dew point and it gives you vapor pressure. You put in vapor pressure and it gives you dew point. So what is the flower starting at? It's a live flower. I don't know. It depends probably on the cultivar, the size of the flower, you know, all of those can vary how much water is in that flower when it's freshly picked. But all we do know is it's wet and we're going to put it in an environment like a cool cure where the vapor pressure is known. And then that flower is going to lose its excess water until it comes to equilibrium with the space. And at that point, it's going to be at a 0.6 water activity. It's not going to have any unbound water. It's at shelf stability. And you got happy life. <laughs> this clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.